I'm I, I'm gay. When I was 19 and I was about to leave on my mission for for my church, and, and I I got this feeling that I just needed to get it off my chest before I left because it was weighing on me for for so long not saying anything. I, I think we've always been pretty pretty close and we we go on walks almost every single day and have conversations about our day and about life. No, but I'm saying worthy wise. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then you go on your mission. I know, I just Austin, I don't care. I don't care. Austin, <laughs> listen, look at me. I don't care. You're okay. Are you a child of God? Mm-hmm. Okay. That's fine. It just makes sense for someone to be happy and not having to hide and 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 not say anything about how they're really feeling. They're just almost like they have to lie to themselves and to others the rest of their life. That's not right. I just didn't want to leave without telling you, just because. <clears throat> Just because I felt that I needed to. For him to come out is to be happy. I got a lot of comments on my video and direct messages from kids that were anywhere from like sixth grade to in their thirties. They they expressed to me that that they felt like they could never come out to their parents who either they were a Mormon or, or they were just uh, in a Christian household. They would express to me that, that they got hope from my video. Your love is, as a parent should be unconditional. If that's what their life is, and that's what their life is, and they need to be happy. You're, if you're going through something like that, if you feel that, that you can't be yourself, you feel that your parents won't love you anymore, I just want you to know that, that there are so many other people in this world that do love you, and you'll make it through. We all will make it through together, so don't give up.